This tutorial is about making global normal map images with Terrain Composer. You can use global normal map images to create a much higher looking height map resolution on your terrain, especially on far distance. Now, normal map images don't work with the default Unity terrain shader, so you will need an additional terrain shader for this, like RTP. In this video I'm going to show how to set it up with RTP. I created 2x2 two two terrains, as you can see here, and I used the island example height map. This is uh, included in the uh, example package. And before you create the normal map, you need to determine what resolution you want to use, and the best is to use at least your height map resolution. So now this terrain is generated in a low resolution, but we want to generate it now at the max resolution, which is then 4K, so I shift click settle. Because then from this we make our normal map, from this detail. We set pixel error to 1 in settings, so we can see the max height map resolution here. Before exporting the normal map, we need to set the resolution. You can do that in local area and in color map resolution over here. So if you change it, now it's on the right number, but let's say it was on 1K and now we put it to 2048 you need to shift click set all to apply all these settings to all terrains. Now let's export the normal maps. To do that activate color output also the export button is activated. Add a color layer and then in layer file open and then output maps. This is included with terrain composer and this is a, a layer to create normal maps and it's just just on the filter rules and it will select a normal from the terrain and it will generate a normal map from it. So here um, I chose directory normal maps and I give it the file name normal map and then we click generate. Okay now let's take a look at the normal maps these are the normal maps Train Composer created. So let's now set up RTP and we can disable color output. Um, first you need to assign uh, 4 or 8 splat textures so I can open a preset here and then shift click set all and then shift click RTP to enable RTP and now we have to set up the lot manager and customize the RTP shader. So we have uh, eight splat textures, so we need two passes because one pass is four textures each. Then we're going to set up the each pass. So I want to use UV blend multiplicative color blend. Yes, uh, we need to enable global normal map and also in the second pass so uh, UV blend and then, yeah, and then recompile shaders we get this look because the normal maps and RTP are not assigned yet so we click on the terrain then we see the RTP script in here then click on settings and global maps to access the, uh, the normal map over here, so if we would slice this down there is no uh, global normal map painting and we can set the brightness down in main, the specular color then this one specular strength okay now let's assign the global normal maps and that we can do from Terrain Composer in Interrain Composer you can see this uh, in Splat Textures in Normal Map here, so here we can select them. So we drag and drop our first 
normal map in there then we're going to see if auto search is set up correctly we need to select th this one so it is like one digit and the number starts at zero then we can use auto search by shift clicking auto search and now we have the normal maps automatically assigned and then in RTP we go to global maps again and there we can activate them again and the default setting is on 3 and now you can see that that detail and now we go to train composer again and we can generate a lower height map resolution and still see the detail because of the normal maps so I shift click set all and now you can see what the normal maps do and go to height click generate and now we have a low resolution height map but it still looks very detailed if you can go to RTP we can look at the difference so if I slice it down you can see how low res it really is and if we bring it up again we see the nice detail also uh, in Terrain Composer if you click on color output and now because uh, RTP is already assigned we can automatically assign the normal map here so if you would do it the way around first assign RTP then you click this one enable this one and then generate export and then Train Composer will automatically assign the normal map to RTP then you even have to do less work now one thing you shouldn't forget to do which I did not show is uh, setting the image import settings so you can uh, select them all because uh, if you make a new image the default value will be 1k so you would need to override and then put this to 2k uh, texture type to normal map because normally it's on texture and then disable create from grayscale and set wrap mode to clamp and then you won't see any seams at the edges of the terrain and you will need to test how it looks always in runtime because in the editor you can see seams at the edges. Thank you for watching.